Hi everybody, it's me, Charles Norman, Sports Solutions LLC. We are the creators of Athletic SOS. It is a software if you're trying to get your kid an athletic scholarship, or if you're a young person athlete that's trying to get an athletic scholarship, our software can help you by finding all the schools that you're academically qualified to attend that have your sport and offer athletic scholarships at the level you can participate. It's absolutely no cost to use. As always, down below, I give you a code. I give you instructions for how to use the code. We do not sell your information. We do not share your information unless we've uh, told you ahead of time, like we're working with a particular sponsor. That's how we keep the software at no cost. But a lot of times we don't have sponsors. And for this one, the code that I give you here, it's just me and you, and somehow you found us, and uh, it's available to you. So please use the software. So I know I get a little carried away with the uh, uh, headlines for these videos, but uh, sometimes it's kind of fun. So how did the NBA, how does the NBA uh, slam dunk winner prove that there, that the youth sports system in the USA is kind of broken? And, um, and I don't, I'm not blaming anybody. Uh, I did not use his real name in the title because I think respectfully, the young man did a fantastic job, won it. He should make whatever he can off of his own name. That's not my place to be. Um, his name, though, is Mac McClug, uh, and I hope I got that right. Um, and so I, I was watching it yesterday, and I just come out of a meeting uh, with some some business people that we're working with, and we were talking about youth sports and what I wanted to do. I don't. I, I'm not necessarily blaming youth sports for you know what I'm about to talk about, but it's a pet peeve of mine. So as I'm watching him participate, and I know he's in the G League, and I'm watching the NBA players, and I'm going, is he going to get to the NBA, which is probably his ultimate dream. And maybe he'll get there, maybe he won't. But what I was watching was a young man that could have played almost a dozen other sports. I saw that, that compact sense of power. That's baseball all day to me. I saw uh, a gymnast, possibly. I definitely saw someone that could be in the high jump and, uh, and make it to the Olympics or something like that. Now, I don't know all the numbers or whether or not he would have made it and who wouldn't have made it if he made it and all that sort of thing. But I have a belief that as, as youth sports, one of the things that we neglect to do or that, uh, that isn't done enough of is introducing kids, especially at a young age, to all the multitude of sports, and it's particularly the sports that can end up giving them an athletic scholarship and helping them pay for college later on, we just sort of glide them along. We find the ones that are good at the sport. Kids may start in the sport just because they live in a certain region, because their parent played one point, uh, because uh, that's the first sport that the parents saw. Parents don't know what else to put them into or don't know where to go to put them into those sports, and so they don't get a chance. There's over 30 sports that kids could participate in that could result in them going to school and getting their school paid for at least partially. And it makes absolutely no sense that we don't introduce them. And yes, he could still be in love with basketball and want to play basketball, but he could have paralleled and said, okay, you're great. You know, you love to play basketball. You're great at it, but with your height, maybe with your athletic ability that we're seeing for what we're seeing, it's going to be a, a long haul there. But in this sport, you could be one of the best of the best. You could go to the Olympics. You may be able to make it to the pros here. We're not guaranteeing anything, but why don't we go down two paths at the same time and really focus on this one that can get you uh, something a little bit past high school. And this one, you want to play for the love of the sport. Why not do both? Why not do three different things? So I think that's where I was coming from with that. And it's one of the things that we want to uh, kind of do here at Sports Solutions LLC. I'm really pushing this idea. I'm starting to get some people to come around to it that are uh, willing to sponsor and fund some things for us. So I'll talk about more of that later. But that's kind of where that came from. But I want to put one more point on this. And I think this is uh, a piece that I also talk about quite a bit. And it's really important to me is that no one can block you in this life. I see so often on places and uh, people talk about, you know, think people that stopped them or they didn't get this opportunity or this didn't happen or that didn't happen. That young man, let's say he never makes it to the NBA. He has found a niche. He saw something no one else saw. Now, I know he knew he could jump high, but I'm sure there's a ton of people in the G-League that could jump high. But he wasn't embarrassed. He wasn't afraid. And he went against the best of the best from the NBA, and he came out on top. And now, even if he never goes to the NBA, he could make more money now. Than, well, maybe not if he was a superstar, but if he was an average player and maybe he made to the league one or two years, he has an opportunity now to make more money moving forward. Just motivational speaking, just uh, endorsements that he could get, things like that. So I guess I'm saying in, in a sense, if you can figure out, if you see something no one else does, and remember I talked to you guys about the journey is more important than the destination when it comes to being an athlete, because we already know as an athlete, it's going to end. 
pretty early, probably in the first third of your lifetime, right? So if that's the case, what are you doing as you move up and go through the process to, to put yourself in the best position to move and have a remarkable life? And I'm going to say for that young man, he's having a remarkable life. So maybe if he would have played another sport, it wouldn't have worked out for him. But I think he could have gone further in some other sports than he did in basketball. I don't know everything. I'm just speculating here. So anyway, so for this one, I'm going to do two videos a day. I want to get this one out. I just saw that yesterday. It started bothering me over the night. It's something I, I, I keep on telling everybody. One of the things I want to do with that five to eight year old group, I want them to see every single sport, get an opportunity as many as possible to get in and, and experience those sports and see if something clicks with them. Something they feel like, hey, this is me. I can do this. This is something I can go somewhere with. I love this. And then maybe there's something else that they do like to do, and maybe they can do both of those. And by the time they get to middle school, maybe they concentrate on those two things, but one is a little more focused because it could get them to play at high school, and I'm sure he played high school ball too. But uh, And then maybe that is the one that you can go the furthest with. People will let you know as you move forward. I think that's something we need to start doing uh, in the youth sports arena. Our whole focus, we start off with software. Athletic SOS is our first major project product we're coming out with a few more um, but this is where we're going to focus we want to do one thing we want to leverage uh, these young people's athletic ability to make sure it leads them to a remarkable life all right guys as always best luck to you in all your endeavors and we'll talk to you next week